Hello everyone and welcome to the D-Hard House. My name is Alicia and I'm your host of this crafty channel here on YouTube. Uh, I'm so glad you could join me today because I am going to talk about one of my knitting patterns that is getting an update, a refresh, um, yeah, to the pattern. <laughs> Uh, so, the uh, knitting pattern <clears throat> that I'm currently working on is one of my sock patterns. And um, this is one that I currently have posted as a pay-for pattern. And it will, st it will stay a pay-for pattern. <laughs> uh, but just to clarify, I do have patterns posted that are uh, free, as well as those you can pay for. Uh, and my patterns can all be found on Ravelry, and my business name is D Hard House, uh, D Hard House Designs. So you can find my patterns there. Uh, so I notice some of my uh, patterns are uh, across the years that I've been <laughs> writing knitting patterns uh, and crochet patterns. Yeah, some crochet is in there. Um, my formatting is not all the same. Um, at some point in there, I came up with my logo uh, and that got added into patterns, but I didn't go back and add it to older versions. Um, I used to use this program to write them and now I use this program to write them. And, you know, um, that computer uh, I don't have anymore and now I'm using a new computer. And, you know, th things just change and grow over time. And so I'm deciding, you know what, I think I need to go back through and revisit some of my um, older patterns. Older as in I haven't published it in the last year. <laughs> and go back through, uh, re-knit them, uh, and then just make my pattern formatting across the board consistent. You know, put my logo in all of them, decide on a font, stick with that same font, just things like that to clean it up, give it a fresh new look that's consistent across my patterns. You know what you can expect when you're buying them. Um, and so that's the idea behind this whole refresh and update of my patterns. So the first pattern up for a refresh and update is my trill socks. <laughs> um, so I have re-knit them. Uh, these are not the original socks. My original socks are actually in the dirty laundry right now, so I'm not going to go grab them, but they are well-loved socks. Um, so I've decided to go through this pattern and one thing I did notice in the pattern is that I only wrote this for one size. Yeah, I, I didn't even realize I did that. But looking back, I wrote it for one size. So part of the update is going to include multiple size options, which I think is a much needed update to the pattern. So I'm reworking this and so um, for my um, foot size, of course, you know, different foot sizes are going to require different size socks. Uh, for my foot size and the gauge that I knit at, I love, if I'm, using, if I'm using US size 1 needles, I like 60 stitches. But if I use US size zero, I like 64 stitches, right? Um, just things I figured out about myself over the years. So I knit, this is for me. And you can see, oh, see the lighting is so cooperating with me today. A little bit of sunshine coming through the window. So it has this cabling detail down the front with a bit of ribbing. Oh yeah. So there are purl stitches in there. So if, you know, this is going to be snug on your foot like this, it's condensed. You still get to see those details. And then as you put your foot into it and it stretches out, you still get to see that pattern. Plus it's ribbing. 
love socks with a bit of ribbing down the leg and the foot because you know it's going to fit snugly around uh, around the foot and so it also gives a little bit of mm, wiggle room for the knitter so if you were not knitting this for yourself if you were knitting this as a gift um, this makes it a little bit easier to try to get the right size for your recipient because you don't need it to be spot on exact it can just stretch to fit around their foot nicely so um, a d big design feature of this pattern is that the patterning here the cable uh, continues up into the cuff so there is no break here that pattern continues all the way up into the top and I love that about this pattern <clears throat> excuse me yeah um, otherwise it's stockinette so that makes it a pretty quick knit so if you've knit my trill socks before um, yay thank you so much I really appreciate you um, if you already have this pattern in your Ravelry library then um, the updates I make to this pattern uh, you will have access to so you will get a message in your Ravelry inbox inbox saying hey <clears throat> Alicia has put out an update to this pattern do you want to download the update and there you go you will you will have it automatically no extra charge you get all of that for free <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> um if you have not purchased this pattern yet and you would like to you still can at its current rate um so as i go through and refresh and update patterns uh, i am going to increase their prices just a little bit um, to correspond with inflation increases in fees that I get charged um, and things like that so the socks will remain at their current listed price with no update right yet <laughs> uh, until February 5th 2023 uh, on February 5th you will get the updated version and on that day I will be changing the price so what you can do over these next two weeks is if you don't already have this pattern, you can purchase it now at its current listed price. And then on February 5th, get the update at no additional charge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, just note that the current pattern that is posted does only have the one size. Um, and so I am going to be updating that. I'm going to be cleaning up the fonts and formatting of the pattern and all of that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> but I think it's, it's good to tell you that you can get this right now if you would like to. And if you want to wait until after February 5th, or you are viewing this video after February 5th, 2023, then the updated pattern is, is in there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I just knit myself a second pair of trill socks. I couldn't be happier with them. Um, like I said, I love that little bit of cable detail and ribbing. It's nice to have a little bit of pattern in the socks, but then still have lots of stockinette stitch to just speed through the knitting. Um, <clears throat> so that is the first pattern that I will be refreshing and updating in the Dehart House Designs shop on Ravelry. I have an idea of which pattern I want to set my sights on next, but if you have an idea of a Dehart House Designs pattern that you'd like to see get a refresh or update on sooner rather than later, let me know down in the comments below. Um, like I said, I have an idea of what I want to work on next, uh, but if you have ideas to share with me, I'd love to hear them to help uh, guide this process. So, um, yeah, I'll be moving on to the next project soon. Two weeks, people. Two weeks before you can see the update on this. So you won't see it right away. Um, but I think it's good to have that two-week window so you know it's coming. 
you can be prepared. Um, yeah, appreciate you all. Uh, I look forward to seeing you next time where I get to share with you what I made in the month of January. Spoilers, I made a pair of socks. I know. <laughs> but until I see you next week, I hope that you are safe and well and healthy and that you enjoy your crafts, whatever they may be. Bye.